my name is Michelle and I work for California State Parks here in the Oceano Dunes District. Part of this district includes Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove where I'm standing right now. Now this is my favorite place to be inside our state park because something magical happens every year. Thousands of monarch butterflies migrate down to us from Canada and the Pacific Northwest. Monarch butterflies are fascinating insects. And throughout this video series, we're going to discover just what about them makes them so cool. We're going to be learning about their long migration from way up north to the overwintering sites right here on the coast of California, focusing specifically on our overwintering site at Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove. We're also going to be learning about their anatomy and senses and their life cycle, like how they change from a striped caterpillar to a beautiful winged butterfly. This video series will also teach you about our butterfly grove and how it's the perfect habitat for the monarchs and what food the monarch absolutely needs to survive, milkweed. Together, we'll learn about milkweed, how it looks and its importance in the monarch's life cycle. We're gonna finish this video series by discussing threats that are causing the Western monarch population to decline and how you can help our butterflies. I'm so excited to kick off this series with you today. Monarch butterflies are my absolute favorite insect. As we'll learn in more detail later, Western monarch butterflies migrate down from Southern Canada and the Pacific Northwest and stay in our grove between the months of November and February. You can see thousands of monarchs clustered in the eucalyptus and Monterey cypress trees inside our grove during these months. While the Western monarchs are visiting us, our scientists study them and monitor their behavior in order to learn more about them and about how we can better help them as a species. Pismo State Beach Monarch Butterfly Grove is one of the largest overwintering sites in California, which makes it important that we maintain the grove so that the Western monarchs continue to return each winter season. Since this grove is part of our state park, we're able to maintain this land as an overwintering site for the monarchs by planting more trees and protecting against human disturbances. I can't wait for you guys to join me in watching these videos together to dive in deeper and learn more about this important and fascinating insect. Before we discover more about monarch butterflies together, I have an assignment for you. Answer the following questions and send your responses back in a video. Question number one. Have you ever seen a monarch butterfly? And if you have, where were you? Question number two. What are you most excited to learn about? 